Welcome back to One Goes Live. Steve Task along with John Murphy. Murphy just popped off the internet for just a minute. He'll be back on to join us. We're about to be joined by Amanda Farrell, Director of Blood Donor Recruitment for Connect Life. Uh, you might have heard it by its former name, Units. Uh, they are a, a group, a nonprofit that works in eight counties and gets blood donations. You can imagine with the current pandemic situation around our country, it has been a rough time for people who are trying to uh, do this t- type of work. We are pleased. Uh, now Murph is back on the line with us. Murph, I just in, I just introduced Amanda Farrell, and Amanda's on the line with us. Amanda, can you hear us? John Murphy, Steve Tasker here in One Bills Live. How are you? I can hear you. Good afternoon. How are you? We're doing really well. Uh, got so to I got to start by you know, finding out. Yes, I got to be honest with you. I didn't know you were coming on today until yesterday, and I'd already made my appointment. I went in and donated blood in the, I think it's the Orchard Park office there on Union Road. Is that right? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I gave. I went in last night and uh, was and was well taken care of. It was nice. It was well run. I was pretty happy. I, give us an idea of how sharp the drop off perhaps has been since uh, this pandemic hit us. Yeah, you know, since it hit us, really, um, I guess just two short weeks ago. Though sometimes it feels like two months, right? Um, we have had from that time through the end of April about 85 blood drives cancel, which is uh, roughly about 2,000 units of blood. Um, that we would have potentially lost from those. So, you know, with um, kind of the cooperation and in support of our media partners, we've been able to really reach out. And in true uh, Buffalo fashion, our Western New York community has really answered the call um, and has helped to make sure that we have currently a stable blood supply at our hospitals. What are some of the things you're doing to get people more aware? Certainly everybody's kind of sitting at home. Most of them, you know, watching TV at some point throughout the day. Is that most of what you're doing or are you trying to get to uh, maybe some local politicians that with press conferences, that kind of thing to get the message out. Well, what What's the yeah. strategy? Yeah, I think a little bit of everything. You know, we really need to educate people on the fact that donating blood is safe and it's needed. You know, having a ready blood supply is essential to any disaster preparedness or pandemic. So I think um, really educating folks, letting people know the steps we're taking to make sure that things are clean and safe. Um, things like requiring appointments so we can adequately space out donors, um, as well as, you know, I think a, a variety of ways, you all with the media, social media, as well as we've had some great um, print partners in our outlying areas, too. Hey, Amanda, what makes this, I'm sure, difficult for you and your group at Connect Life is this uh, April 1st, just started today, National Donate Life Month, right? It's, and you're still going to honor that. You're still going to observe that this year. It is, yes. A lot of that will be virtual. And, you know, with the fact that, as you said, people are sitting at home, um, everyone is definitely on social media. So we can celebrate and honor Donate Life Month virtually, or you can um, celebrate it, um, you know, in person by making an appointment to come and donate blood as well. We're at, now, how many locations do you have? What precautions should people take before they come in? Is there anything special they need to do to prepare? And how easy is it just kind of maybe to show up and donate blood. Is that possible? You know, give us the kind of the ins and outs of what it takes. Sure. So, you know, at this point in time, we are requiring people to make appointments. And that's, again, for our staff and donor health and safety. We want to make sure we have enough time to um, clean and disinfect every surface in between our donors, as well as space out enough so that we can maintain that six feet of social distance between our our draw chairs and our donor wait time. Um, So we do know that a lot of our, um, from feedback from our donors, a lot of our appointments really up and through next week are full. So, you know, sometimes it's challenging. Folks want to do something now to make an impact, but we really encourage you to look out into the next two weeks to several weeks. You know, collecting blood is going to be a marathon, not a sprint. And we really want people to consider, you know, whenever they want to get out of their house in the next several weeks, think of us and come on and get out to donate blood. Yeah, I guess I never thought of this, Amanda, but you probably do have to have a regular sustaining number of donations every month, regardless of whether it's, uh, you know, April or whenever. And when it's interrupted by something like the virus like this or something else, it, it throws you guys off schedule, right? Yeah, you know, blood is not a renewable resource. It has a shelf life of 42 days. So we need a constant collection to make sure that blood is on the shelf for our hospitals. You know, if that blood isn't on the shelf, all the all the medical personnel, all the technology in the world is no good if we don't have that blood on the shelf. Well, what, what's next on and how is it going? Is this going to, I hope this helps to get more people in, but like how many 
I mean, for, for an eight county area like you serve, how many units are we talking about that actually go out and are used? Not that go bad that you don't use that, you know, in case it, you know, it, you don't have a run on, on that kind of thing, but how much do you take in uh, and how much is needed by the medical community? Yeah, so, you know, that's um, important for folks to know because it's really a, a huge volume. And like I said, it's not a renewable resource. So Connect Life supplies about 80% of the blood needed by all the hospitals in Western New York. And everything that we collect does stay here locally. So we supply our hospitals um, just over 35,000 units of red blood cells on a yearly basis. Um, and that's throughout the year. So it really is a huge number. Um, and when a virus like this comes up or something that really impacts people not donating, you know, just a, a few days to a week's time span and not being able to collect could be detrimental for our hospitals. Amanda Farrell, our guest, Connect Life's Director of Blood Donor uh, uh, Registration. Amanda, it's important to note that you do this by appointment only now, right? Even All your locations appear open, but you got to make an appointment to donate blood now, right? We do, and we encourage people to... Um, uh, again, to check our website for eligibility, they can always call our office too, but we really require that people feel healthy and well. You know, if you are healthy, this is something you can do to give back in this time where kind of everyone is a little uncertain and uneasy. Donating blood is a really safe um, way that you can help to give back and help to make sure that our community stays healthy. And I guess another important thing, well, it's important in some respects, but you've got a special uh, Donor donation uh, coming up a week from today at Big Ditch Brewing Company in, in Buffalo, right? We do. So that's been really great, too. You know, it's not only our awesome blood donors, but it's, again, like I said, our Western New York community in true fashion. We have some really great, um, I guess you would say, non-traditional partners to our, our blood bank. We've got Big Ditch Brewing. Um, we've been working with Hamburg Brewing, as well as Crosby's Convenience Stores, and some other places where if they are open or they do have space, you know, they're um, – ready to open their doors to us and, and encourage people to come out and donate blood there. Thanks so much, Amanda. Good luck with the blood drive. I hope, I hope we can get through this difficult time and I hope this helps. Thanks so much.